off the coast in uh, beautiful Corpus Christi. I'm trying to find the snappers. Fishing a double Siddiqui rig with large six odd circle hooks with a 16 ounce weight on the bottom. See what we could get. Thank you for joining us Fire Tide Fishing. We're here in beautiful Corpus Christi. And on this student of fishing feature, we're gonna try to learn some new things here out on the reef in Corpus Christi. Never fished here before, so feel free to stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And as well, try to have some fun. Please feel free to give us some comments here. We're gonna be on this vessel here. It's slightly used. I think he's on his third motor. We should be catching some fish today. The worst part of the day is paying Biden prices at the pump. It's only money. <laughs> it's only money. And you know what money is. I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> go fish. Money ain't real. <laughs> they just make more of it. Yeah. Have you ever been to Bloody Dex? Uh -huh. Go to BloodyDex.com. Like Sponsored by BloodyDex.com. Just kidding. I think we got enough rods going on there. One more rod does it, right? There we go. Well, I, go borrow some rods from some of these other guys? I think we need a couple more rods. <laughs> So we just start off the day by cutting some bait. Here we are using some ribbon fish in small pieces. You start small just to see if the fish are active. Water's Today you'll see thing. later on the video that they weren't so active. Yep. Excuse me, sir. See if they're hungry or they're hangry. That's right. Probably not pretty quick. You want to switch spots or how do you want to do it? Man, I'm going to switch. I just want to switch here. here. Yeah. 
many fish to go over there when I first came across the last few last time. Right under. Oh, I'm dropped down. First spot we tried here is a shipwreck. As you can see, um, I ended up getting hooked up on the, the actual wreck itself no here bite. in a bit. No, I'm hooked on the bottom. Find the bottom? I'm off of it. On the bottom? Yeah. Or I'm bringing up a cannon. There we go, got it off. Got it off? Yeah. Got a fish though. I think so. Yep, there's a fish on there. Big? No. Little. It might be actually. Need that? Need a hook? There's one snapper. Told you, man, this rig, she works. Go back to your home. I just need one at least three times your size. Yeah. <laughs> How deep were you at? 65. 65. It's hard bottom down there, smoking stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I can feel it. Of course, it takes you about two seconds to get down there. Oh, oh, missed it. Oh, lost it. He definitely took the bait though. I felt yeah, that yeah. one. That was a good one too. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Damn it. That's how she goes, GoPro. That came through like a rip. That felt kind of shark. Shark? Yeah, you know how that come through and just rip it? I don't think that was a shark. I think that was an actual decent snapper. Yeah. yeah. I think it just ripped his lips off. It's a good sign, though. See how long it takes Gary to switch over to my rig over here. I'm guessing the one to first catch the big first fish. All right, second drop. Eat double nut rig. They work, buddy. Yeah, yeah. There's just enough breeze pushing. My 16 ounces are staying pretty on pretty good. See ya. So one key point here is we're trying to figure out what the current is like below. Once we figure that out, we can figure out, you know, how much weight we need in our drift and some tactics. So we're still fishing with some smaller bait here. And then later on in the video, we'll switch up to some larger baits. Now I need one 14 ton. Got that, got pipeline. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's like 28 inches. No, it's not. Caught some bait, we're in the eyeball. Let's 
put a big circle hook on them and send them to get depth. See ya. Come on, gaff top. It, it's a gaff top. Deep sea calf fishing. Get the twenty two. Huge gaff top. Like a world record gaff top. Huge. Man. I had one on. Look at the slime. See it? Slime on that top line. Yeah. That's huge, brother. A lot of people lay them and eat them. They say they're really good. Yep. You know how to, they say they clean them too? Yeah. They put them in the net and drag them behind the boat to the dock. Take all the flying off of them. For real? Yeah. 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 Love it. This place is just like tinder. It's full of catfish. <laughs> That bait didn't even get touched. Oh, you had something on there the whole time? Yeah. I just kept nibbling and nibbling. Finally, I had a jerk on it, was taking it away from him, and he decided he wanted to keep it. Trophy catfish. Catfish sucking on it. Catfish is fucking big. Catfish is a big catfish. Come on, be some orange in the water. I don't know if they get that, but anyway. It's, it's, a, it's a donkey without fur. It's called, it's called two of them at one time. <laughs> Double donkey catfish. Double catfishes. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I can believe it. Sometimes we get out there. You're in the wrong spot. And we were clearly, we got in the wrong spot and all we're doing was catching catfish. So we decided to rethink our tactics and uh, head over onto a drift. Now that the reef cleared out, we had about 30 boats out there in the morning and they all decided to take off. Maybe to get some food, maybe to call our quits, but we decided now that the reef was cleared out that we could go and do a drift technique and we ended up using some larger baits and we got some bigger fish so i'll show you the rig here in a bit here and uh, feel free to copy it i stole it from an individual from florida so this is the rig here you just start off with your main line here see you start with your main line going down you put a snap swivel down if you have any snap swivel try to use one with a little bit stronger uh, rating and attached to that you just kind of do like a loop knot a larger loop knot you could crimp it or however you want to set it up and then just put an eight ounce weight so the eight ounce weights will will be right here at the end of the loop knot it's again eight ounce weight and that'll drag along the bottom uh, your leader line you want a good 10 foot leader line on that 10 foot leader line i tend to like that as fluorocarbon so it'll be invisible and it's good for the fish when they're being picky for a hook i tend to use a size seven aught um, circle hook with a full squid. There's a nice little squid there for you. So we want to use this technique, especially when you got a good current. We had about a current of two miles an hour. And once again, we're doing a drift. So drift technique, you're just dragging this along the bottom. Two mile an hour current is what we had going on. And this technique worked real good. We ended up getting a bunch of 30 inch uh, snapper. So this technique I grabbed from a guy in Florida. He tend to use this in areas that were had high fish pressure. So this reef here is fished a lot and we ended up getting a 31 inch and a 35 inch uh, red snapper here that later on that afternoon which was my PB and then I got a PB again so my new PB now is 35 inches. Let's talk about rigs real quick here. I was using this spinning rod 
50 to 80 pound backbone and I was using the BG 6500. Great combination for catching snapper. <laughs> Yeah.